Nambol police recovers body of a driver inside a truck in suspicious circumstances at Irang Mamanglikai in Bistapur district. And JSC against forced construction of Mapithil Dam and Mapithil Dam affected villages blames government for recent Jadong boat capsize incident. Hello and welcome to Impact News. You're watching Primetime English News. And I'm Lighting Monica with the latest news updates. A body of a man was found inside a heavy vehicle Tata dumper at Iringba Mamanglikai under Nambol Police Station in Bistapur District today. The deceased is identified as 22-year-old Tata dumper driver Thiam Samu, son of late Thiam Sham from Kaino Thongthak Awanglikai. Mother of the deceased told media that late Samu left home around 1 p.m. yesterday. She said when they tried to call his mobile number as he didn't return home even after midnight, his phone number was coming as switched off. A case has been registered at Nambol Police and state forensic team has inspected the area. Driver of the vehicle where Samo's body was recovered has been taken to Nambol Police Station for interrogation. Chairman of JAC against the forced construction of Mapithil Dam and Mapithil Dam affected villages, headmen, chiefs and elders organization AS Solomon blames the government for the recent boat capsize incident at Chadong village which claimed three lives. He maintains that such misfortunes could have been avoided if an MOA was signed between the affected villages and the government to take necessary measures. Meanwhile, Youth Forum for Protection of Human Rights, YFPHR, in a press release urged the government to decommission Mapithil Dam, which it said was constructed without proper social impact assessment, environment impact assessment and cumulative impact assessment. The forum also condemned recent government's effort to ban unauthorized boats at the tourist port as deprivation of livelihood for the villagers. Chief Minister Nong Thongbam Birain expressed deep distress upon the tragic death of Ning Thousam Thoibi Singh from Nomai Kong Makal Lekai of Kakching District in the recent violent storm that swept across the state at, on April 28. Ning Thousam Thoibi is survived by his wife and five children. He met his tragic end while trying to cross Imphal River on a boat during the storm. Sessions judge Imphal East today uh, sorry, sentenced a rape convict to eight years of jail term. The convict is identified as 45-year-old Moirang Thim Gumpi, son of late Lilo from Moirang Kuno. Gumbi was accused of abduct and rape of a woman on July 22, 2015 and was declared guilty in November of 2017. Convict Gambir was produced before session judge Maibam Manoj Kumar for sentence hearing today following proceedings at Cherab Court. Apart from the jail term, the convict was also imposed a fine of 25,000 rupees. The court also ordered to pay 5 lakh rupees to the victim as compensation. People of Kumbi in Bishnupur district are still reeling under water scarcity despite government's vision to provide safe drinking water to all by 2020. Hawaii Pokpi Water Supply Scheme in Kumbi Setupur Man Maning Lekai Ward No. 2, which was constructed in 2011 with an aim to supply water to around 10,000 people under Kumbi Municipal, is yet to be inaugurated. Discontented local residents urged the relevant authorities to make the water supply scheme functional without further delay. They also complained that they are being deprived of power supply due to snapping of electric poles and wires in the heavy storm that hits the state on April 15. Setupur Club of the area has warned of intense agitation if their plights are left ignored. Without 
टैंकी हाँ रिजाव लेरी इन खर से कुंबी की वार्ड मापन प्रजा सिंह कोई थकनब होना अवाब हो टैंकी लाम फोन पी आगे इन सोलह लाम फंगद्रे कना कुमर नाई खरना कोई जेनेटर तौर का योन की कर्बा तौर क्लब एस वाई सी सेटपुर कम थीजरे An awareness generation workshop on the theme export procedure and development schemes for women entrepreneurs kicked off at Hotel Classic Grand in Chingmerong today. Manipur Chamber of Commerce and Industry (MCCI) and CUTS International jointly organised the program with assistance from the Australian government. The program commenced with welcome remark by MCCI founder member, cum chairman of Babina Group of Companies, Dr. T H Dabale. Speaking on the occasion, MCCI President Dr. Radheshyam Oynam stressed the need to encourage individuals with innovative ideas for entrepreneurial growth. Experts will enlighten a total of 55 participating entrepreneurs on how to enhance their skills, upgrade technology, and on various marketing strategies in the workshop. 2018 da akhoi nongpok thong hangra bani akhoi da leri ba opportunity si akhoi gi historically opportunity ni all akhoi gi business ki entrepreneurial ke nomi amchi len punjil lakan da it has to be one direction amaga amaga sangat pa policy da akhoi influence to ba that is what we looking at manipur gi kanu si nongpok thong hang is yamna chau ba pandamama ni masi gi sakhoi kitang tappa mali but we are requesting the government akhoi the government zu hetang ambana te but we have to show them that this is the policy making direction kada ina akhoi logistics park semgani kada ina transportation corridor semgat टेक्नोलॉजी <laughs> Speaking to media at Khoyathong Community Hall today, Secretary of High Power Committee of IUCB Limited Imphal K H Lebanon urged the administrator of Urb Imphal Urban Cooperative Bank carried out various misconducts against the interest of the bank. Bank shareholder Maibam Sunil also condemns the administrator, who is also the registrar of Cooperative Society, of carrying out various misdeeds in association with some shareholders endangering the bank. बाई लो बैंक लोन की याद मत ऑर्डर पंत चुना लोन पीसदेजे लीगल प्रोसीडिंग सूमी हंजन हंजन सूम थोसे ऑर्डर बाई लो की वाग तौसे एजिटेशन को इनवाइट तौने लगे मरम कई लेगे कोर्ट केस हंदू नगर अदा तौ है मी खुता है कंदेम तौई अखो अहल हाई पवर कमीटी अच्छी प्रेस क्लब सेमुद इलेक्टेड डेलीकेट्स अहूंग निफू मंगा सेकेंड डिसेबर टू थाउज एटीन अयाब पीर हाई पवर कमीटी सिनमी और कमीटी अच्छी चंजल लोनम सेरों कुलूम तूद लेसे मोह खुजो खरान है हाईगन मैरीपेद मैजाव अकन इह लापीगन Imphal West Commando team conducted cordon and search operations at Thangal Bazar areas today. The team under the supervision of additional SP operations Imphal West Police Aribam Ganesham carried out the search drive at Alugali Dharmasala, How Market, Ima Market and Rup Mahal Theater from 8 in the morning to 8:50. Altogether 386 individuals were verified during the drive out of which 14 individuals who failed to produce any identification document were taken to city police station and were further released after necessary verification. MSP DCL in a press release informed to all the consumers of 11 KV Nambul 1 feeder that there will be a planned shutdown on May 2 from 10:30 a.m. to 3:30 p.m. for replacement of HT poles at Bisumthong. Consumers of Yai School Hiruhanba How Ground, Yang Lim Lekai, Nambul Mapal Khetri Lekai and Kesamthong to Mongsangai area will not get power supply during the set hours. Now it's time for a small commercial break. After the break, we bring you updates from India Meteorology Department on Cyclone Fanny. Keep watching Impact News. Welcome back. You're watching Prime Time English News. Cyclone Fanny intensified into a very severe cyclonic storm as observed this morning and is likely to intensify further in the next 
12 hours and strike the northeast states, including Manipur, on Wednesday. According to Indian Meteorology Department IMD, Cyclone Fanny, which originated from southeast and adjoining southwest of Bay, Bay of Bengal, is currently moving with a speed of 158 km per hour towards Andhra Pradesh, Orissa, West Bengal, Bangladesh and heading for the north states. Its speed is estimated to slow down by 74 km per hour by the time it reaches the north states. AMSU District Committee Ziribam inspected various government schools in Ziribam District today. The team led by President Urembam Sanjeev, W. Dimocha and Publicity Secretary Tokchom Thanil carried out the inspection at Zirigat High School, Sonapur Primary School, East Sonapur Primary School, Vidyanagar Primary School, Uchalthoi Primary School and Aglapur Primary School. The committee expressed concerns at the deteriorating condition of education sector in the district and urged the relevant authorities to look into the matter without further delay. Senapati Forest Division organized one-day awareness program for students under National Mission on Himalaya Studies and MHS Nature Learning Center NLC to create awareness about the importance of forest, wildlife and their conservation today. The awareness program was held at Mao Paumai Women Community Hall, Senapati. 18 students and 6 teachers in charge from 6 different schools namely Mount Dion Senior Secondary, Bethany Higher Secondary, Mount Everest Higher Secondary, Don Bosco Higher Secondary, Senapati, St. Anthony's School and Brookdale Higher Secondary Schools attended the program. One Day Diabetes Awareness Program was held at Nompok Sekmai in Thobal District today. Rural Development Society Wang Jing organized a program sponsored by World Diabetes Foundation Denmark at Nompok Sekmai Sikong Market Community Hall. Resource persons spoke on ways and means to prevent diabetes. Leg Chirkam demonstration on Manipuri dance, music and Thangta were held today on the second and final day of observance of International Dance Day by Jawaharlal Nehru Manipur Dance Academy in fall. Teachers of the academy and renowned dancers and artists of Manipur attended the event held at the Academy Auditorium of DM College campus. Self-Employment Voluntary Association SEVA held its 28th annual mid-2019 at GM Hall in Val West today. SEVA organized the event on the theme, Food Security Through Organic Product. Presentation of SEVA AIC Agricultural Seed Award 2018, Best SHG Award 2018, Best Employer Award 2018 and Felicitation of Pandit Dindayal Upadhe Antodaya Krishi Purushkar 2017 awardee KH Samu Sabha were the main highlights of the event. Integrated Youth Development Organization Ning Thong Nai Yairipok Andro in a press release clarified that it has no connection whatsoever with the boycott of MLA Andro Thong Nausam Shyam Kumar by 10 club and organization. Chief Minister Nong Thong Bambirin greeted the people of the state, especially the working class, on the occasion of International Workers' Day. In his message, the Chief Minister stated hard work and dedication of workers are the source of inspiration and motivation to work for the progress of the nation. All Manipur Progressive Farmers Association also in a press release greeted all the labourers and farmers of the state on the occasion of May Day. 
12 proscribed Maoist groups have greeted the people of the state on the occasion of May Day. Ben's Maoist Communist Party, MCP Manipur, in a press release stressed the need to end suppression of weaker sections by the powerful ones. The party asserted that it will always defend Maoist ideology and stand for public welfare by giving befitted response to any challenges, whether it be political or military. Korkom, a conglomerate of various proscribed groups, also greeted all the labourers of Manipur and around the world on the occasion of May Day 2019. The proscribed group asserted that equal development can be brought in Manipur by uplifting the working class only after attaining its independence status. Before we end, a quick look at the headlines once again. Nambul police recovers body of a driver inside a truck in suspicious circumstances in Irangbam Mamang Lekai in Bistapur district. NJC against forced construction of Mapithil Dam and Mapithil Dam affected villages blames government for recent Jadong boat capsize incident. 